right, here we are mid-afternoon in beautiful Arlington, Texas day. A little bit rainy yesterday, but we got some done today. Anyway, handling several cars out of a collection. Here's a really nice something you don't see every day. You see Woody's, but you don't see a lot of Mercury Woody's. So this is a 1948 Mercury Woody wagon. Nicely done, resting on a uh, well-seasoned, slightly older restoration, but well done and probably limited miles. We've had it up on the lift. It's rock solid. Underneath the hood, you'll see it's very nice. The bright works very nice. I couldn't even imagine trying to find some of these pieces for a Mercury Woody wagon, but just super cool. Finished in a jet black. The wood was done by a uh, Northwest wood guy. We'll uh, go over that with you. We'll put some specs in Spud's garage and get into more detail, that kind of thing. The wood looks like a beautiful original, looks like a really nice original wood car. I couldn't tell you if any pieces have been replaced or anything, but all the joints look good. Good solid car. The finish on it is very, very, very nice. The black finish, I don't know if it's a base coat, clear coat, but it appears to be. It has Coker wide white radials on it with a Mercury Deluxe trim, trim rings and hubcaps on it, Mercury hubcaps. This bright work on the side fenders, these dual fender spears are really cool on these Mercs. Swan neck mirrors, factory style. These upper fender uh, ornaments are very nice. The grill is very, you know, if you look at a 48 Ford versus a Merc, there's quite a difference. Mercury 8, flathead V8 underneath the hood, speaking of that. Turn signal markers are up high here, where a Ford, they would have been down lower. I believe below the headlights. Uh, it has nice little bumperettes on it. Nice little uh, hood trim here underneath the hood. Speaking of that again, it has a 239 cubic inch flathead V8 that's been hopped up with Edelbrock heads and uh, dual carb intake manifold and Fenton headers and uh, just overall just nicely dressed under the hood. Period of horsepower, 50s style horsepower underneath the hood. Um, again, all the bright works very nice. The wood is, uh, you know, the hardwood and the uh, mahogany. The finish is nice on it. Again, slightly aged, a little bit older restoration, but nicely done. Looks like a restoration of a good, solid, original car, as that's what it appears to me. Uh, we're going to have some specs, and we have some uh, prior information on the car. Belong to a large Northwest collection. It's currently here down in a collection in Texas. Nice little... Uh, cloth style interior in it kind of a mohair kind of feel rubber mat floor mat mats are all new mahogany are here on the uh, door panels are nice kind of give you an idea the door shut nice too bada bing windows roll up and down nice we'll actually have a little bit of a video sorry for turning away the camera there for a second just rolling up that window. Back seat, same thing. Early class style upholstery. Headliner's nice. Roof panel's nice up top. But again, this looks like an original wood car. They restored an original car. They've installed seat belts front and, and uh, the back second seat here. There is no third seat. Again, they shut nice. Step back and let you take a look at it here. Roof panel has been completely redone. It's nice. You can see the original joints here in the wood. Sliding rear windows front. We'll have the gate open so you can see the inside of the gate in the back here. Great place to go have a picnic. Surf wagon, great surf wagon, picnic wagon. Passenger side door here, so you'll find character in the wood. You would expect that. Door shut nice. Had a little bit of rain down here. There really wasn't any swelling in it, so it... Uh, Looks like they're running 32 PSI in those Coker radials. They put a sticker in the door jam. Coker wide whites. Starts up nicely. All the Merc dash on the trim, all the factory gauges, that kind of thing. We never test the radio. I would assume that radio doesn't work, but 
You can actually change the innards and go with a modern Bluetooth style setup. A place like Hot Rod Electric, anything like that will do conversions. Put a Wi-Fi receiver in it, Bluetooth receiver. Just turn this one. It is hopped up, you can feel it and it runs good. Fuel gauge is working, oil gauge is working. Battery charged, so it's charging. We haven't run it long enough. It's got a vintage turn signal on it down here. Uh, has a uh, moon eyes tack here. Emergency brake works and sets. There's additional gauges down here. Supercharger, that's funny. Anyway, set up the engine vacuum. Nice mechanical gauge is what they've done here. You'll see it's a mechanical gauge, so you're gonna get a true temp rather than a sender, like right there. So, good thing to do. Has a hot rod heater in it. This is a heater assembly right here or heater controls. Let's go surfing. Been there, done that. Hang on to the end of the video. Nice little built, hopped up flathead V8, 239 cubic inch. Has a Crower camshaft in it, Edelbrock cylinder heads on it. We'll have some more specs at Spud's Garage and who built the engine, that type of thing. Has a Navarro uh, dual carb intake manifold with Edmunds uh, air filters on it. Has Fenton tri y headers on it, upgraded billet pulleys on the water pumps. Has a uh, Mallory distributor up front there. So modernized enough to take it for a good spin. It has a uh, beehive style oil filter there. It has a nice little uh, moon eyes fuel delivery block on the firewall. Pressure block shows you what the fuel pressure is. If it gets too high on those carbs, they'll, uh, the floats will, uh, carburetors will flow over. So it's a good idea to have uh, know where your fuel pressure's at. Firewall and all the aprons have all been finished in the same gloss black as the exterior of it. Nice little wire separators and acorn nuts on the heads. Again, the Fenton headers right there. Nice little cooling fan up front here. Looks like this is an adjustable thermostat when you want it to come on. Great for parading. We'll get more specs at Spud's Garage. All the details in the engine. We have a little spec sheet here from the prior builder. All right, we're gonna fire it up here for you. They went with a uh, key switch instead of the push button on and off, so to speak push button start you just start this starts right up runs good Right, we've got the back picnic gate open for you, so to speak. See, they've added seat belts in the back seat so you can take grandkids safely or family or friends. It has a spot for a uh, third seat. There's not a third seat included. It's easy to put one in if you come across one. Or Wood's nice inside. Original steel floors on this one. We have the Merc Woody up on the lift here. We'll share the undercarriage with you. Very solid. We'll just do kind of a quick pass through. Uh, nicely done. Obviously uh, restored at one time over the years. Possibly uh, body off the way the frames finished and that type of thing. Very solid floor pans. 
Uh, buggy spring rear suspension, pretty typical with gator wraps on it. Factory rear suspension, factory shocks. Has an updated uh, electric fuel pump up here for easier startup. Solid up into the fenders, the aprons. Kind of give you a feel there. All the way through, floor pans are nice on this one. Very nice. Good solid woody here. Had a backfire at one time, apparently, is what happened here. Uh, they will have this muffler replaced before it leaves here. Doesn't leak or anything. It has a uh, factory master cylinder here, brake switch is right there. Very much factory underside. It's quite clear the transmission and engine and transmission have been gone through during that restoration. We're going to dig up as much history as we can at Spud's Garage. Flathead V8. Not a heavy leaker or anything like that. There's no big puddles underneath this car. They typically leak some. They've added a stabilizer bar up front. Still has the factory knee action shocks. Good solid woody right here. You don't see many mercs either. Up into the fenders, front fenders, same thing. Nice. There you go.